Excitement filled the red carpet here in Dallas for the premiere of War Room, the latest faith-based film by Alex and Stephen Kendrick. CBN News has followed the journey of this film since the beginning, complete with a behind-the-scenes visit to the set during production. The movie follows the turbulent marriage of a middle-class couple and highlights the difference prayer can make. Priscilla Shire, best-selling author and daughter of Pastor Tony Evans, makes her big screen debut as Elizabeth Jordan, a busy, fed-up wife, mom, and realtor. When they said, we would like for you to be the lead in the film, not just like have a little part in the film, be a lead in the film, I was like, have y'all lost your minds? The Jordan's rocky marriage constantly reaches the boiling point. What do you want, Liz? Shire worked with the Kendricks on Courageous, writing the resolution for women from the film. Her lack of acting experience didn't stop them from casting her in the movie. Going into War Room, uh, we, were, we were thinking we would love to have someone like Priscilla Shire who would play this role. So we were writing scenes with her in mind, thinking what would Priscilla do in this situation? T.C. Stallings plays Shire's husband, a successful pharmaceutical rep. I don't do CPR, Mike. As a former player with the Arena Football League, he related to his character's struggle with pride and putting God first, a problem he believes a lot of men face. We've been friends for a long time, but some things are just none of your business. I said, Lord, there's some things about Tony Jordan that I actually experienced. Football was God for me. It provided the fame, the notoriety, the finances, so I put everything into it. Tony Jordan does the same thing. Using the analogy of military strategy, the film highlights what happens when Elizabeth learns the key to praying in her closet. Well, in the Christian walk, we often try to figure it out on our own, get in over our heads, then run to God in our war room, our prayer closet, if you will, and say, God, where are you? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we use that parallel in the movie to say, you know, we are supposed to go to the Lord first. God is looking down saying, I'm the only one who can change this culture and I'm the only one who could change the human heart. If you will come before me, then I will move mightily on your behalf. I was thinking about Popular speaker and author Beth Moore makes a cameo appearance in the film. She agrees that some underestimate the power of prayer. What happens is that people give up. They don't understand that prayer in itself is its own end because it's connecting us with the creator of the universe, the one who said, let there be light, and there was. And that that's the one we're going to. And that as we persevere, that we're building a relationship. There's a getting to know him that takes place in prayer. But let me tell you, anybody that doesn't believe in the power of prayer, quit too soon. Karen Abercrombie plays Miss Clara, an elderly woman who enlists Elizabeth's help in selling her home while encouraging her to fight for her family from on her knees. Miss Clara is a 77-year-old widow, and she is a prayer warrior. And uh, she's funny, she's kind, and she is super passionate about... Um, the Lord. Well, for Elizabeth, um, it's it's kind of slow and steady. She, you know, she has to keep meeting with Miss Claire because she's helping Miss Claire sell her house. Um, but she's just kind of like, all right, stop asking me personal questions and about my relationship with the Lord. We don't have time for that. Miss Clara, I really would like to help you sell your house. War Room is more than just a movie. The Kendricks say it's a call for Christians to seek the Lord for answers to their problems. We pray that people will watch this film and that they will, yes, feel the tension and the drama, laugh with us, cry at a certain mm -hmm. point, but by the end, be inspired and reminded about the powerful weapon that prayer can be to fight the right enemy the right way and that they'll wanna go home and say, I gotta amp up my prayer life. Cast members say they learned more than just lines from this project. I will say that I have been become more strategic. I literally have written some things down. When you see them posted on your bathroom mirror or posted on the wall of your cubicle, it reminds you every day to be diligent about what your prayer uh, life is. I have seen intercessory prayer, a powerful prayer work. And I've seen family members come to the Lord after uh, some serious prayer. And so I was able to just pull on those things when I went in that prayer closet. Lord, call us to battle. You can see the movie yourself when it hits theaters on August 28th. Charlene Aaron, CBN News, Dallas.